Once you've created your end-to-end -end process, in order to make the process more resilient to errors, we can implement error handling. Now Boomi provides several ways to do this. Firstly, the try-catch shape allows you to catch any failed documents that occur downstream to this shape, such as transient errors. What it does is it allows you to retry these failed documents within the process execution, and you can specify how many times you would like to retry. In the case that they continue to fail after retry or that you don't specify any retries, these failed documents will go down the catch path where you can apply compensation logic or generate platform notifications through the notify shape or send out an email alert to a user. Now I've created a Slack notification, however you can do this with other tools such as Microsoft Teams or Twilio. To show you the Slack notification that has been generated, here you can see the error message on Slack with the process execution details, as well as the try catch error message and a link to the process reporting page. If I go ahead and click this link, it takes me to the process reporting page and it only shows me that process execution where I can get some more details around what has happened. Here we can view the error message as well as view the process logs to get a more granular view on where the process error has occurred. On top of this, we can view the process state to get a more visual representation on where the process error has occurred, as well as how far each document has gone down the process flow. The process state also shows the timings of each step, allowing you to quickly identify which steps within the process are taking the most time. But most importantly, if we click the timestamp, we can view the documents with errors here. We can view the contents of the document, as well as rerun the document in that environment the process is deployed to, as well as rerun the document in the test mode. In the test mode, the documents will be applied to the most updated process that you've developed, where you might have added updates to overcome the errors encountered. And you'll be able to run these documents in the test mode before applying process changes to the dev or production environment. If you prefer not to review the errors and manually retry the failed documents, you can apply a retry schedule. In a similar fashion to how you would schedule a process execution, you can also apply a retry schedule. The retry schedule will check for any failed documents in other process executions and rerun them at the retry schedule. Heading back to the process reporting page, here we can also customize what sort of fields you would like to view in those documents where, for example, you can add this count tracked field in order to see what sort of documents are coming in and what accounts have been retrieved. And rather than monitoring the process executions, we can monitor the documents that have come in and apply this tracked field in order to see where a certain account has moved through the process execution. If we add the filter for the account and add the tracked field and the name of the account, you can see where this account has executed in the process flow at what time, as well as which connectors or endpoints that account has passed through. 